Hi, I'm Alena from Datacamp. Welcome to the first episode of our Admin University series, where we explore best practices to help you launch a successful learning program with Datacamp. As an admin, your goal for the first one or two weeks is to get all the learners set up on Datacamp. This is what we'll focus on today. Let's go to the Group Hub, the main admin interface as part of your Datacamp Teams account, and look at the adoption chart. Here you can see a quick license usage overview that will help you track onboarding progress. The goal for every admin is to make this a full blue circle, meaning all licenses are allocated to learners and everyone has accepted your invitation to Datacamp and started engaging with content on the platform. Before inviting users to the platform, we recommend creating teams first. Teams help you organize the learning for each user group through team assignments and increase learning engagement for large programs. Creating teams also helps you easier compare engagement among different learner groups down the road. Let's explore two possible ways to invite learners to the team. You can do so by opening a team from the Teams tab or by navigating to the Members panel and choosing a team from the drop-down at the top. In the upper right corner, you can see options to invite via email or via an invite link. For programs that require fine-grained access to a group of users, you can choose the invite via email option. You can pass the complete list of emails to the text field, select teams to add members to, and then choose to assign admin permissions. There are three levels of admin access with Datacamp teams. Team managers can create team assignments and view reporting for their team. This is especially useful when giving line managers the ability to track how their team is learning on Datacamp. Managers can create assignments for all teams and view reporting for the whole organization. This role is great for anyone on the learning team looking to monitor and report on the wider organization's learning progress. Admins can do everything that team managers and managers can, but can also invite learners to Datacamp platform and configure billing settings. If you want to invite users at scale, we recommend creating a secure invite link. In the link creation dialog, you can specify allowed domains to join and choose teams to invite people to. A user can be part of multiple teams. For example, they can be included in the marketing team and business analytics team. Once you create an invite link, you can share it with your learners however you prefer. You can also revoke link access in the invite links tab of the members panel. If you don't have enough licenses to accommodate all the learners who join the link, these learners will be added to the waiting list. You can further extend the number of licenses from the Group Hub menu to allow everyone on the team to learn on Datacamp. After inviting users to the platform, we recommend assigning a dedicated team manager for each team for easy reporting access, highlighting the success of learning champions within each team and supporting members lagging behind the program goals. As part of your Datacamp team subscription, you can have unlimited admins, managers, and team managers. By giving them basic access to Datacamp, your admins won't take up a license. But if you want them to also learn on the platform, make sure to allocate a license to them. Once you invite the learners to join Datacamp, return to the dashboard page. To get the most out of your Datacamp license, ensure there are no open seats marked as red. You can also check who hasn't yet accepted the invite link and contact them directly. To dive deeper into the adoption progress, you can go to the reporting tab to see how you benchmark across other Datacamp customers and view the adoption funnel breakdown. If you see members lagging behind their learning goals, don't worry. We'll explore the most important engagement techniques in the following videos of the Admin University series. To recap, we have walked through inviting learners to a Datacamp group, tracking onboarding progress, and accelerating adoption by creating teams. Prioritize these actions for the first one or two weeks to lay a solid foundation for a quick start of your data upskilling program.